Hi everyone, it's Diane and we are back to do some more card making today. So we're continuing with the Stamping A to Z project where I'm using stamp sets from the beginning of the alphabet in my bookshelf and the end of the alphabet in my bookshelf and making a card from each in an effort to use some of these stamp sets that have not had quite as much love as they should have. So from the beginning, this week we have Apothecary Art, which was a two stamp set. Um, they did coordinate with Label's Framelit dies. They don't match up exactly, but these are the same shapes and could be used with the stamp sets. There's not a whole lot of image on here other than what is in the labels. So we're gonna play with this and dress it up a bit. And from the end of the alphabet was well said. Also a two set stamp set, but all words, no images. So we're gonna take advantage of our beautiful papers that we have and use these with some pretty paper. The paper, since neither one of these had a whole lot of design on them, the paper that I found in my stash is from Sweet Soiree Specialty Designer Series paper. And you can see why I chose this because this will make great focal points, pretty paper has some foil designs in it. I think this went with, um, what was that birthday one called? Um, it was, hmm, I don't remember. I have, and I'm sure, I'm sure we'll get to it if we continue down our alphabet path here. Even that one's pretty too. Yep, so those are the papers that I pulled out to use on these cards. I also had promised, if my order got here, that we would use that new around the bend. And it did. So that's probably a good thing because we can take advantage of that with these sets. Oh, I can't pick that paper up. And try to dress it up a little bit. So this was around the bend. And this is a current set. And these were the dies. And this is why I got this set right here. That die with the pretty leafy border. I didn't realize it had little hearts. These dies, I just look, don't have stamps to match it. So we're going to use some of those and cut them out of coordinating cardstock to go with our second card. Okay. I did consider... Um, this is this is the free paper that came with my order from Stampin' Up. So, because it is Stampin' Up Celebration, and oh, I just had the catalog. I could have told you when that was in sale. But you can earn stamp sets and papers for free. And this was some really pretty paper for free. Yeah. So. I was going to use that, and I, but I decided since I really wanted uh, a fancier focal point, I went with the foil paper, the specialty papers, and we can save this and do a card with it another time. I'm sure it'll get used. It's very pretty. So how's everybody doing? Hope you're all well. We're finally getting better here. Knock on wood. That was enough of that. Yeah. All right, so let's start with Apothecary Art. And let's mute my phone because it never fails. So this is Saturday afternoon for me, and I'm getting my video ready for Monday morning. And I have stuff everywhere here. I was pulling out different colors. So this is the paper from that specialty paper that I chose. 
The only thing that I have done ahead of time was with this stamp. I know that ring light is not letting me do much. I'm getting a big glare. I stamped this in basic gray on basic white and then I used markers to color in the little flowers around it trying to coordinate a little bit with the paper so I used um, old olive for the leaves and I used some petal pink and daffodil delight on the flowers they're so tiny that you can hardly tell and then I took the happiest birthday stamp which I was gonna say was just here let's not lose it I've had it all this time and stamped it in Misty Moonlight because that was the closest blue I had to match that paper. I think I think it was Marina Mist in that paper. That's how old that is. And I don't think I have any of that. You know what? Now that I'm thinking, I might have an ink pad. I didn't even look. I do have Marina Mist. How about it? <laughs> That's okay. I don't have Marina Mist paper, so the Misty Moonlight is going to have to be my card base. And then, because these flowers were so teeny tiny on here, when I filled in even the smallest um, leaf with one of my markers, it just looked very dark. So what I ended up doing was using a blender pen and just going over that a little bit and it lightened it up and moved the ink around enough that it didn't look like a green blob on there. So I was thinking maybe, those aside, if we took our card base and we have this pretty paper and then we have those around the bend dies. I haven't played with them too much yet. Oh, look at that one's even got a little bend that skull does to it. This one I have an idea. I saw I actually saw a video and I like that and I don't Uh, depending on, uh, maybe, maybe, I was going to say, depending on the colors we select for the next card, that might work. So, why not use the one I wanted it for, right? I'm just afraid I'm going to... Did that go down there? And this one there? Okay, we can do that. So I already had cut this at, um, or maybe I didn't cut that. Yeah, I did. Four inches. I was going to say that I might have taken it out of the package. Already cut, but I did it. So that was four inches. So we'll do this five and a quarter. I mean, this is all the paper that it takes out of those beautiful pages so there's always so much paper left that's why we have to use this we have to use it all right how am i going to show you this and put that up there at the same time i want my leaf on there the whole way so i think this is going to have to go off the edge a bit And I'm going to shake you up. So I will apologize right now. So I hope you all had a good week. It's been... Um, 
much all four seasons here again. Today's actually sunny. It's a little cool yet, but there was some sunshine. It almost looked like that, you know, we might just get spring one day. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's cool enough that hubby did start the fireplace, but um, there's sunshine. So that makes it all better. I love this die. This is going to be a keeper, a forever one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Boy, I almost hate to even put that on there. And it's too big for down here. No, it'll have to go up there. guess if I didn't want to use this I could have stamped happiest birthday down here but then I'm not using my stamp set so we have to use this we have to have to and I'm going to here this is frugal me I'm trimming off my icky part there and keeping this piece because that's always handy for another card. Yeah. That's just so gorgeous. I don't want to cover it up. I might make another card with it. I might just use this as a panel and use our stamp set on there. I think I will. I just don't want to cover those leaves. It's a waste. So this is a um, super duper clip card then. So this would be a four by five and a quarter inch panel of designer series paper. And I'm just going to layer directly on my card base. Seeds are getting in the way already. I mean, the paper's pretty on its own. The stamp is pretty on its own. And the die is pretty. I'm just mixing too many pretty pretties there and, and taking away from um, any one of them being... Getting all the glam, you know? So this way, our designer series paper, I'm trying to think of a way to get rid of some of that glitter. Good grief. Let's see. Can we tone it down a little? Hmm. I don't know. You know, lighting, it's all the rage. <laughs> okay, where'd my happiest birthday go? Oh yeah, how can you even, I mean, that's just too pretty. How can we even cover that up with, or should I say, infringe on it with a die? And I was going to cut this out with those label dies and then cut out a larger one in blue and put it on here. But I'm afraid that the same thing. I'll be covering up all that paper in the background because the next larger die just takes up too much room on the front of the card. So I'm not going to cover it. I guess we need um, some not-so-pretty stuff, huh? Living so nice. So what have y'all been up to this week? We had our card group here Tuesday. Had a couple new ladies join us, so that was fun. Try to get that in the center. Oh, this is 
is perfect. I need a birthday card. My girlfriend's birthday is coming up. And that is kind of a silver foil. So maybe we have brushed metallic. Those look too, too bronzy. I think I want the little old-fashioned silver pearl ones. As a matter of fact, the gal whose birthday is coming up As soon as I get done with these, let's go finish her other baby shower cards. All right, I know you're in here because I had you the other day. <laughs> oh, I'm taking every pack out. You have no idea how many packs that is. I'm so sorry. You know it's going to be the last package I take out of the box, right? Oh, good lord. Where are they? This is terrible. I'm going to pause for a minute until I dig these out. And I, hopefully I'm going to pause it. Good Lord. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. It won. I gave up. <laughs> I couldn't find them. I did find, I even pulled out my little glitter glue drops. I thought maybe I could put some silver glitter on there, but all I'm getting out of there is glue. I think um, those are beyond help. So I found honeybee little rhinestones and they're almost silvery oh so i wonder if i use those silver pearl ones for christmas cards this last year i don't remember that i did but we could have at one of the workshops and they could be um possibly gone yeah so these are kind of a gray clear oh that'll work pretty all right i'm okay with them I just feel like I lost my mind. Oh, that's pretty. I really like that paper. And I like that stamp. I have to remember to use that with those label dies. Because really, you wouldn't have to put happiest birthday in there. You could use any... Um, I think, oh, so grateful. I was going to say, I don't think there's any other greeting. So grateful is on there. But look, that one has a sample. It says, for you, inside. You could do anything with them. All right. Good one to remember. Okay, beans. So let's get on to the second one. I know that um, this didn't take quite as long as I'm feeling like, but that was because I was digging through every bobble and bead and bit that I had over there. Jeez. Okay, so the next one. I wanted to use these little flower dies out of the 
around the bend because this is with well said and we can make that be any any occasion that we want and I think this is February I do need some more birthdays coming up I'm not quite ready for Mother's Day yet Easter will be here okay and I think you know if you've watched my channel you know usually I don't use um, a white card base but because this paper is so vibrant and I told you I, I had seen something I wanted to give it a try on here I think we're going to use a white background and this oh, this is the one that was already cut because this is cut at that should still work okay we're going to use that stamp out of around the bend that is just a sorry I know it's loud crinkle crinkle, crinkle loud but I hadn't taken this one out yet and what I saw in the one video they used this and I, I would tell you who it was but I really don't remember You could even do it on an angle. I'm not sure that they did. Okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. All right, four and a quarter. Must be four and an eighth, because it is a little shy on my card by five and three eighths. Although some of that's going to get trimmed down. Okay. And then let's make a curved edge to this. not going to go end to end. I'm going to have to trim it because I think this die is probably only four inches wide. Four and a quarter. And we did four and an eighth. I got to trim a little bit off of that panel of paper to make it four and a quarter by five and a half. So I want it to go end to end on my die. measure four and a quarter in there. All right, let's just give it a go. Oh, because I'm tilting it, that's why. I was going to try to do a tilted one. Let's do it straight and make it work the right way instead of trying to get all fancy creative with it, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. I was going to say that means I made it too long because remember I cut five and three eighths, but we're going to cut it down a little bit anyway. Once we figure out how far down we want it to be on our card base, you'll see what I mean in a minute. I know, I'm just chattering away, not making any sense. It'll make sense. Okay, this card base, opening the right way. My hands are so dry, they don't want to do anything. And see, it didn't snip all the way to the end. So what I want to do is put this on here and I want to use the stamp from that set and stamp the curve on top of it. See? But I also need to have room so that we can use our, our greeting from the well said stamp set. So if I put this down here I just need to know where my placement will be. 
And this is a great stamp set because it has your greetings and it also has some nice insert sentiments so that you don't have to kind of think of what you want to put in there. So. You have to do a get well. You don't have very many get well cards. That's a little bit small. It doesn't take up much room on there. Thanks, welcome bride for you. Where's happy birthday at? Oh, there's happy. Happy. That I didn't put the back on yet. Happy, 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 happy. See, you, you can tell that this one has only been used a few times. Happy. so hard. Oh. Is baby sign happy? <laughs> if I had a look. I'll line it up on a block and test it and make sure I can get this straight. Get these little scrappy doos out. Happen to have a block here with some lines on it. Sorry if you can't see me, I'm trying to look over top of it. My birthday's too high. Let's stamp it on a scrappy. Use some rich razzleberry here. And I'm going to fold this under because this is a scrap paper I was using for a baby shower and it has their info on there. I don't want to share that with everybody. They might not like it. Yeah. All right, let's see if this is straight. Happy's going uphill. He's happy. Down. Birthday's going up just a hair. Well, now it's going to really be going up. I pulled it off. Like that. You might not be able to see there's a faint line on here. Oh, that's not bad at all. All right, I'm happy. I'll take it. Okay, so where's my stamp map? Where's my map? There's so much crap on this table right now. Okay, let's say a prayer here because I'm going to stamp this directly on my card base. Don't ever do that. Always stamping on a... on a panel.
This is a good day. Alright. Now what color do I want to put my my little curvy? Do I want to do it in that same rich razzleberry or should we brighten it up maybe with the daffodil delight might be pretty, huh? Yeah. Let's give that one a go. Daffodil delight. And again, I want to stamp this on scrap paper because I haven't used that stamp yet. on here. Never know what you're going to get when we're trying out a stamp set for the first time. Kind of making it together. Ooh, look at all that ink on there. I'll wipe that off. Smear all over my card for sure. Alright. Let's give a happy little rainbow curve, huh? I know what it looks like. Okay. Okay. We used our well said for our greeting. Got it back in here for the curve. Um, let's put this die away before I lose it. And now. We have to trim a little bit off of the bottom here so that this is going to have quite a little bit of a border. So probably, I guess just right about there. Am I going to be able to see that pencil mark? Don't know. Don't know. And we're going to use that around the bend die set. I do see the pencil mark. How about that? And we're going to cut some coordinating flowers with those dies. Coordinating by color. Nice. All right. So we'll leave this here so we can kind of figure out what colors will be the prettiest on here. Let's grab the cut and emboss and a bunch of little scrappy colors here. Got some. Fold all of for the leaves. And some rich razzleberry for the flowers. All these dyes taken off of here yet. 
and let me see, I had a piece of daffodil there because I think that's supposed to be the flower center in this die set. Still flying everywhere here. Okay, so there's what I think is supposed to be the flower center. I'm gonna see another set of everything. Oh, look at those two little flowers. They're pretty. Um I also see that I thought I had a piece of Calypso Coral here, just a small piece. I don't want to use that half the cards. Oh, I do. There it is. I don't want to use a whole cardstock half for that. That would be very wasteful. A couple more little leaves. Make this fit. Well, maybe I have to do the Calypso Coral one next. Okay. Yeah. Leave. No leave. Yeah. Oh, did you hear him slide all over? Back on there. Go to the grocery store today. It's exhausting, I swear. I really do miss the days where, first of all, when you had a cashier, second, you know, they would come and help you with your bag your groceries and help you get them to your car. Our one little local store will still do all that. They do have some self-checkouts in there now, but um, they do still have help. Thank goodness. That's not where I'd stop today. So, by the time you get done shopping and packing it all and loading your car and bringing it home and unpacking it all and then putting it all away, need a nap. Okay, a couple more um, just with the Calypso Coral. Hmm? I'm calling that the right color, I hope. I am. Calypso Coral. You know, sometimes I get done and I go back to check my video to see, make sure I was in frame or how long it was or whatever, and I'll realize I called something what I do the other day, I called something Mossy Meadow, and it was, um, it was not Mossy Meadow. <laughs> I can't remember what it was, but it was a Mossy Meadow. It was Mint Macaron, yeah. Way lighter than Mossy Meadow. All right, let's start with those and see where we get to, huh? Put this little baby together. Oh, there goes my pokey tool. Two, that, and I should have one more leaf, I believe. Mm-hmm. Oh, geez, here we go. Now I'm gonna be on the hunt for a leaf guy. So y'all know what I'll be working on for the next couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. I like to try to put these away right away, but I know I had 
There's, oh, is that it? That one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. I missed someone. Oh, gone it. Well, that means we don't empty garbage for a while either. No. So let's put this on flat. Lining it up under that arch and leaving a border around each side and the bottom, trying to get them even. Why is that paper cute? Why did I not use that too much? Then, I thought maybe if we put some little leaves Oh my goodness, this is cute. What a cute set. I'm sticking my fingers. I don't know if I want those ones. Well, I don't know. Let me see. I really like this. Okay, yay, I love it, I love it. So, first off, let's put our little flower centers on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there you go. And we have a uh, Rotary fundraiser to go to tomorrow. It's a purse bingo. And I see my phone lighting up over there because everybody's starting to text about the bingo tomorrow. I hope I hope somebody at our table wins. I hope one of those girls is really lucky. I'm just going to glue the little leaves on the back of my flowers until I decide where I want to put them on the, whoops, what am I doing? on the card here. Aren't those cute? Okay, and then... Do I want these to come down the edge like a little garlandy type thing? And then pop these flowers up. Or is that too much green going down there? Because I think I'm going to add some of the little flowers. Well, I know I want you. And you, I should cut out one more so that I have three. You know, the powers of three. And I see I nicked my little petal down there. So we'll put this one here, this one here. And let's do a yellow flower with an orange center. And let's 
half the glue. Lost my little center. See, it's so staticky. Everything's sticking to this. I think that's why I dropped my my die. I'm at 45 minutes. Darn it. Getting my mark. Now we're close to being done. We just have to figure out our little flower layout. Ah. The glue is being cloggy now, of course. You come down this way a little bit. I feel like I have to be a florist here, huh? Flower arranging. I don't have flower arranging skills. Not really. I just stick them in a vase until they look pretty. <laughs> Is that sad? That's okay. It's usually only for me. And if I think they look pretty, then I guess that's Good enough. And then we'll put some of those little ones in there. Yeah. You guys do anything special over the weekend here? Or did you, I guess, since this is going to be on Monday? I should be asking, did you do anything special over the weekend? These little flowers have dots in the center, so you could poke them all out and, oh, you know what, I see. You could put them, let me see if they would fit on that circle, so you would have yellow in the center of those as well. Oh my goodness, I, that matches that paper good, too. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a good die set to use with that paper. Look how cute. Oh, I'm saving flowers too. We'll use those in another card. So, this was featuring Around the Bend, one of the new sets from Stampin' Up. But we used Apothecary Art. And, well said. How about that? Quite um, a conglomeration of tools used for our car today, but fun, 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 and pretty. So thanks to everybody for sticking around with me for a little bit today. If you like what you saw here, please give me a thumbs up down there and help the channel grow. I will see you all again later. Have a beautiful week. Bye.